The Yenisean languages, sometimes known as Yeniseic or Yenisei Ostiac, occasionally spelled with SS, are a family of languages that were spoken in the Yenisei River region of central Siberia. The only surviving language of the group is Ket. Family division Zero. Proto Yenisean, before 500 BC, split around 1 AD. 1. Northern Yenisean, split around 700 AD. 1.1. Ket 200 speakers. 1.2. U, 1 speakers. 2. Southern Yenisean. 2.1. Katasan, split around 1200 AD. 2.1.1. Kot, extinct by the mid 1800s. 2.1.2. Basan, extinct by 1800. 2.2. Arin Pumpokal, split around 550 AD. 2.2.1. Arin, extinct by 1800. 2.2.2. Pumpokal, extinct by 1750. Only two languages of this family survived into the 20th century, Ket, also known as Mbat Ket, with around 200 speakers, and U, also known as Sim Ket, which is now extinct. The other known members of this family, Arin, Asan, Pumpokal, and Kot, have been extinct for over two centuries. Other groups, Buklan, Baikat, Yaran, Yastan, Ashkishtam, and Koibalkishtam, are identifiable as Yeniseic speaking from Tsarist fur tax records compiled during the 17th century, but nothing remains of their languages except a few proper names. It appears from Chinese sources that a Yeniseian group might have been among the peoples that made up the tribal confederation known as the Zongnu, who have traditionally been considered the ancestors of the Huns, but these suggestions are difficult to substantiate due to the paucity of data. One sentence of the language of the Jia, a Zongnu tribe who founded the later Zhao state, appears consistent with being a Yeniseian language, a proposal connecting Yeniseian to Na Dene, one of the major language families of indigenous peoples in North America, has been met with a cautious welcome. Family features the Yeniseian languages share many contact-induced similarities with the South Siberian Turkic languages, Samoyedic languages, and Avenki. These include long-distance nasal harmony, the development of former affricates to stops, and the use of postpositions or grammatical enclitics as clausal subordinators. Yeniseic nominal enclitics closely approximate the case systems of geographically contiguous families. Despite these similarities, Yeniseian appears to stand out among the languages of Siberia in several typological respects, such as the presence of tone, the prefixing verb inflection, and highly complex morphophonology. The Yeniseian languages have been described as having up to four tones or no tones at all. The tones are concomitant with glottalization, vowel length, and breathy voice, not unlike the situation reconstructed for Old Chinese before the development of true tones in Chinese. The Yeniseian languages have highly elaborate verbal morphology. Phonology Morphology Personal pronouns Vocabulary Numerals the following table exemplifies the basic Yeniseian numerals as well as the various attempts at reconstructing the proto-forms. A few etymologies. The following table exemplifies a few basic vocabulary items as well as the various attempts at reconstructing the proto-forms. Proposed relations to other language families. Until 2008, few linguists had accepted connections between Yeniseian and any other language family, though distant connections have been proposed with most of the ergative languages of Eurasia. Dene Yeniseian In 2008, Edward Vida of Western Washington University presented evidence for a genealogical relation between the Yenesian languages of Siberia and the Na Dene languages of North America. At the time of publication 2010, Vita's proposals had been favorably reviewed by several specialists of Na Dene and Yeniseian languages, although at times with caution, 
including Michael Krauss, Jeff Lear, James Carey, and Heinrich Werner, as well as a number of other respected linguists, such as Bernard Comrie, Johanna Nichols, Victor Gola, Michael Fortescue, Eric Hamp, and Bill Poser, Carey and Potter 2010-12. One significant exception is the critical review of the volume of collected papers by Lyle Campbell and a response by Vida published in late 2011 that clearly indicate the proposal is not completely settled at the present time. Two other reviews and notices of the volume appeared in 2011 by Karen Rice and Jared Diamond. Karasuk the Karasuk hypothesis, linking Yenisean to Barushovsky, has been proposed by several scholars, notably by A. P. Dulson and B. N. Toporov. George Van Driem, the most prominent current advocate of the Karasuk hypothesis, postulates that the Barusho people were part of the migration out of Central Asia that resulted in the Indo-European conquest of the Indus Valley. Sino-Tibetan as noted by Taylor and Werner, some of the earliest proposals of genetic relations of Yenisean, by M. A. Castron, 1856, James Byrne, 1892, and G. J. Ramstedt, 1907, suggested that Yenisean was a northern relative of the Sino-Tibetan languages. These ideas were followed much later by Kai Donner and Karl Buddha. In more recent studies at the beginning of the 21st century, historical linguist Edward Vida, who also proposes the Dene Yenisean relationship, had spent a year studying the Ket people's Yenisean, where his findings helped with the substantiation of this conjecture into the origins of Ket people, and DNA claims showing genetic and linguistic affinities with such ethnic groups living in relatively close proximity to the region of Tibet. Visa vis Sino Tibetan and Tibeto Burman. One, he further suggests that the tonal system of the Ket language is close to that of spoken Cantonese or Vietnamese than the other native languages found in Siberia too. Dene Caucasian Buddha, in various publications in the 1930s through the 1950s, described a linguistic network that besides Yenisean and Sino-Tibetan, also included Caucasian, and Barushovsky, some forms of which have gone by the name of Sino-Caucasian. The works of R. Bleichsteiner and O.G. Taylor, the late Sergei A. Starostin and Sergei L. Nikolaev have sought to confirm these connections. Others who have developed the hypothesis, often expanded to Dene Caucasian, include J.D. Benson, B. Blazak, J.H. Greenberg, with M. Rulin, and M. Rulin. George Starostin continues his father's work in Yenisean, Sino-Caucasian and other fields. Notes References Bibliography External links Results from the February 2008 Dean Yeniseic Symposium A Siberian link with Nadine languages by Edward Vida, a proponent of the Yenisean nadine connection. Lecture notes on the Ket people by Edward Vida Map of the Yenisean family from the Santa Fe Institute. Comparison of Yenisean and Nadine by Merritt Rulin. Yenisean etymology by S. A. Starostin. Sino-Caucasian comparative phonology by S. A. Starostin, 2005. Sino-Caucasian comparative glossary by S. A. Starostin, 2005. Article on Yenisean languages in Russian. Multimedia database of Ket language, Moscow State, Lomonosov University. Ket language vocabulary with loanwords from the World Loanword Database.